Hamas claims to attack Israeli forces in Gaza Hamas claims its fighters fired anti-tank missiles at Israeli forces invading Gaza. The humanitarian crisis in the Palestinian enclave has deepened as Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu rejected calls for a ceasefire. Three weeks ago, Gaza's ruling party, Hamas, surprised everyone by launching an unprecedented attack on Israel. Israeli authorities said more than 1,400 people were killed in the attack. Since then, the Israeli forces have been continuously attacking Gaza by blocking it. Israel has stepped up ground operations in Gaza to eliminate Hamas. On Monday, Israeli forces targeted Salah al-Din the main road running from north to south in Gaza, and attacked Gaza City from both directions, witnesses said. Israel has demanded the release of one of its soldiers captured by Hamas. Israel said the Hamas forces were among those who captured 239 people in an attack on the Jewish state on October 7. The Al-Qasim Brigades, the armed wing of Hamas, said its fighters engaged in fighting with Israeli forces that invaded southern Gaza in the early hours of Tuesday. They engaged Israeli forces with machine guns and fired al yassin 105 missiles at four of their vehicles. al yassin is a Palestinian-made anti-tank missile in Gaza, Reuters reported. Palestinian fighters also targeted two Israeli tanks and a bulldozer in northwest Gaza, Al-Qasim brigades said. But Reuters could not confirm these accounts of the fighting. The Israeli army did not immediately comment on this. Gaza health authorities said 8,306 people, including 3,457 children have been killed so far in Israeli attacks since October 7. UN officials said the Israeli attack has already displaced more than 1.4 million of Gaza's 2.3 million population. The mounting death toll and deepening humanitarian crisis have prompted Israel's main ally the United States, other countries and the United Nations to call for a ceasefire. But Netanyahu rejected the call in a televised address to the nation on Monday night. He said that Israel will proceed according to the plan to eliminate Hamas. 